So this is a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah. Just a minute ago, it had a red light and you'd start it and it would stop pretty much right away. It'd start up and then turn off automatically. So yeah, that, re here, that red light was a security light and uh, we had just swapped the PCM. Now using this Launch X431, I think the model number is, using this, Plug we did check wall. VIN. Plug this into the tow wall. Hold up. And see what it says. And uh, we clicked yes and wrote the VIN of the yeah. car it's onto the old PCM. PCM. Or the new PCM. The new PCM, but yeah, the one we got but from the junk Plug that in and see if it's charging. Okay, just wait. Because that thing doesn't tell you. It will, just, no. That thing should tell you 13. It's at 13 flat. When you first plug it in, what does it say? 13.1. 13.1. Yep. It would never do that before. All right, so. So, see, check it through there. So, in here, we had to go to system selection PCM special yeah. function and then rewrite check the VIN. check VIN and that's how we re yeah. rewrote the VIN and it seems good uh, so go to um... so with the scanner it reprogrammed the VIN uh, turns on and now it doesn't turn off right away and the security light does not come on now in this vehicle in the Jeep uh, we did put a junkyard alternator on it and it's wired differently. So as of right now, it's still not charging the battery, which it was the original problem with it in the first place. Uh, we put a two or three alternators on it and that didn't fix it. And then turns out it was the uh, PCM not giving it a signal to start charge. So we've replaced the PCM Fla uh, flash the VIN with this and that worked, which is crazy because usually you need to bring that to the dealership. But anyways, uh, any questions about this scan tool and programming a PCM and a Dodge product, let me know. Uh, and uh, yeah, just put it in the comments.